chapter 6-2 Estimating Sums and Differences Example 1 Estimate 5 eighths plus 11 twelfths The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to round each individual fraction to the nearest half. Using previous strategies, 5 eighths is pretty close to 1 half and 11 twelfths is about as close to 1 as you can get. So we round both those fractions. Now that we've rounded the fractions, the key here is to add them. Now in this case, I have a mixed number and a whole number. And most people get confused with this step. You really can't combine them. You can more or less put them next to each other. So 1 half plus 1 would equal 1 and a half. For the next example, we're going to estimate 7 twelfths take away one-sixth. Again, we're going to estimate by rounding both individual fractions. Using the strategies I've taught before, seven-twelfths is going to round down to one-half. One-sixth is actually going to round down to zero. Now that I have my brand new fractions, I simply do the problem with those two new numbers. One-half take away zero is going to be one half. The final example we're going to do is that we're going to estimate four and five sixths plus two and one fifth. Again, I really just want to estimate on the fractions, so that's what I'm looking at rounding. The five sixths rounds to one. I take that one and add it to four. That first whole number is going to round to five. Looking at the second fraction, one-fifth is going to round to zero. Well, that's not going to change the two at all. So two and a fifth is going to round to two. Now comes the easy part. Five plus two. That equals seven. This has been Estimating Sums and Differences. If you have any questions, concerns, or comments, please feel free to email me or leave a message for me on my website. Thanks a lot and have a great day.